Lisa Shinham. She's in Bradenton, Florida, about 40 miles south of Tampa, right on the water. She and her family also choosing to stay put. Matthew stayed home for Hurricane Helene, too, and made videos that went viral on TikTok. Yes, that is him floating in a kayak in his living room 12 days ago when Helene flooded his house with a storm surge that set records. Also want to welcome Garrett Adams in Tampa, Lisa McCauley in Jacksonville, and Aaron Casperson also in Braden, Florida. Matthew, um, let me start with you just because the visuals of you in the, in the kayak in your living room were just so overwhelming to so many people. I would have thought that would chasten you enough to say, this next one's going to be worse, I, I should leave. But no, you've decided not to. Why? Yeah, good evening, Ashley. Uh, I'm just a little stubborn, uh, born and raised in Florida, been through so many different storms. Uh, I know it's going to be loud and scary. I've been tracking it nonstop from the beginning and uh, super unfortunate that it's going south. But at the same time, the folks in Tampa, we may have dodged a bullet there. Um, so just kind of getting used to it by now. And you know, we prepared as much as we can. And I'm, I'm just trying to watch it. And I'll kind of make a game time decision as it gets a little bit closer. Garrett, let me jump in here with you because you're in Tampa. You're going to stay in Tampa for this storm. Mm -hmm. And your mayor, I, I'm sure you heard me say it earlier on this show, your mayor said some things that just kind of made my hair stand on end. She said, if you stay in that house that you're in right now, that's the coffin that you're going to be in. Did that change your mind about leaving? Um, uh, honestly, not really. Um, I feel like it is going to be extremely bad for people who stick by the water and everything, but I am going to um, higher ground. Um, that would be above the storm surge. And I uh, I also think that's not the right thing to say when something like this is happening. Like, I feel like it's pretty negative when people are already stressed out enough trying to get out of town. They can't get out of town. Like you said, there is a lady with multiple kids and it's just extremely hard for the people who um are trying to get out and to say that it just adds more stress to people which is i think unfair but i can see your point i mean the stress has got to be overwhelming for all of you and i feel for you tonight just watching the um the the, the weather patterns on the bottom right hand side of the screen with that big five in the middle of that storm Lily, you're one of those people with um, a toddler and a newborn. I, I wonder what you have done to prepare for this, uh, given the fact that all those piles of debris are just going to send those, you know, missiles into people's windows and, and, and houses. What are you guys doing to stay safe? Yeah, so, so far, I mean, we just make sure we have enough uh, water and food for all of us um, for a couple of days. and. We have a, a generator that hopefully will, you know, help the fridge and, and stuff like that. Um, and then we'll just be hoping for the best. Anything in particular planned for when the storm hits? And that's either now going to be tomorrow night or into Thursday morning. Like, are you planning to get your toddler and your newborn and your husband and pick a place in the interior of the house? What, what are your, your actual plans for the moment that the storm comes ashore? Yeah, we're definitely going to be uh, sleeping in the same room where, you know, the kids and uh, my husband and I will be in the, in the, in our same room in the master bedroom and, you know, hopefully be able to get at least a little bit of sleep and our toddler, a three-year-old won't be so scared of, of the loud thunder or whatever comes our way. So at least we'll all be together and <clears throat> support each other throughout the night. Any plans to, uh, to board up windows? Um, no, we have some uh, hurricane-proof uh, windows, so we won't have to board up. But it is scary to be able to see the the wind and things flying out you now outside, since we'll be able to see through. Yeah, I'm sure that those bands are starting to get close, and so the winds are are picking up. Aaron, maybe you can jump in here. I know that you have lived you know, in Bradenton, in the same part of town your whole life. I mean, you're a Florida resident, you know hurricanes, but this one just, yeah. again, uh, they're saying it's going to be so different. D d does that affect you in any way, the, the piles of debris that are going to be flying, like all of these things? Where's your head at? Well, um, you know, we're, we're pretty far inland. Um, we're not in a flood zone. We're not in an evacuation zone. We've been in, in the same house for 10 years now, and I've been in the same part of town for about 30 years now. I'm 39 years old. 
Um, so I'm very familiar with the storm surge and the rivers and the way things are affected where I live in particular. Um, you know, the coastal areas where they have those big piles of debris is a major, major concern. I mean, that is that is a really bad situation for, you know, with another storm coming, you know, that's going to float out of the Gulf and Washington surge, get picked up by the wind. I mean, that is that is something that is a major, a major concern for a lot of people for sure. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.